Hello FlossTube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I am going to show you and tell you about my next or the fourth of the half dolls I have stitched and I have in my collection so far. This doll's name is Alessia and of course this is a design by Giulia Manfredini. Uh, the name of the doll Alessia Julia dedicated to daughter of her good friend and uh, creator of many creator of the um, threads um, of her many designs. This is uh, Romy's creations, Romina Petrucci. So Romina has a daughter called Alessia, and Julia just named a doll, one of the dolls from her creations, after uh, Romina's daughter. As you can notice, so this is the doll from the preview, this is my doll. As you can notice, I changed the doll again. Uh, so the original doll, this is, I can't show it to you. The original doll looks like this, if you want to look. And uh, this one is made by, uh, um, is made by Ellen Kuin. So she is uh, a British living in uh, in uh, USA, um, but uh, and the original doll is much smaller. But I decided to choose this beauty because I just fell in love with her when I first saw her. Um, so the doll was changed <laughs> definitely. If we speak about the materials, so here um, I already tried to sti stick to the chart and not change anything, but unfortunately. Uh, I just couldn't because from the very beginning I had problems of uh, on finding the uh, fabric because um, originally the chart required 30 second count line on HD gray, HD gray from fabric flare. Uh, honestly, I couldn't find this uh, fabric. Probably it is discontinued now. I looked in many sources, but still I couldn't find it. So I just gave up. Looking on the preview, so on this chart, and looking on the internet's uh, pictures, I just noticed that this gray is mostly like a bluish gray, something like this. And then I decided just to choose by myself. And uh, if you remember, in the Denise doll I had to use um, uh, Picture This Plus Arctic, so this one. And uh, I didn't use it because I said that it has this uh, green, this green thing, and I I didn't want green. But uh, I was keeping it for for this doll because you see this doll has green as a color, and I thought it's going to be okay. But when uh, starting it, I just looked at the fabric, I looked at the threads at the doll, and I decided that this one already looks how they say too dark and too dirty, yes, so <laughs> and then I just uh, um, uh, saw this one, this is a 30 second count, this is Belfast from uh, Zweigart, and this is vintage blue, so I looked at this one, I looked at this one, and I decided that for this doll, this like nice blue, lighter blue is going to be to be better and i uh, i made my final decision in favor of this uh, vintage blue um, a decision which I, I don't regret because i like it enormously how it looks like um, then if we speak about the threads uh, here it was required to use threads uh, by uh, romy's creations of course it's romy's daughter's dedicated doll <laughs> so we had to use Romy's creations. So here they are, the colors I had to use. And in a sec I'll tell you some details about these colors. Okay, so sorry, but they're very thin and they are getting like this. So this is Italian coral. I have quite a lot because very little it was used. It was used just in these flowers like here. So I have a lot left. Then I have um, Red Devil, which again it was used not so much. And uh, by the way, this Red Devil I will need another doll where I have just a few like um, 
to stitch with it. So it's one skein is going to be enough for, for two dolls. So we read this here, here and here, just a little bit. Um, then it was forget me not. You see not a lot left, but I have made some changes with this one. So this one was used, just a sec, I'll show you closer. So this one was used here, as you can see, yes, so it was used in uh, uh, two plies, but here it was like around the flower, I, um, I don't know, I just thought that uh, if I'm going to use two strands, it will look um, somehow not so fine. That's why I decided just around these flowers uh, to have one, one, um, one strand. So to make the cross stitch in one strand. And here I use in, in two strands. So this is a change I made. And I have left over. I don't know if I would have used this one like in two strands. If it's going, if it was going to be enough. But I think it, it was going to be enough because this one, yes gave me quite a this is Tuscan experience and this is actually it what it was left just this one but uh, I just kept it to, to show it in the video so not because I'm going to use it or something like this it was used quite quite a lot and uh, honestly I was just worrying that it's go it's not going to be enough that's why I looked uh, um, taking into account that uh, he didn't have like uh, it wasn't very light and very dark it was more or less the same color I just found it uh, the color in the on the DMC shade card so if it wasn't to be enough for for a little bit I was I was to use uh, DMC and the last one is sunflower again it's torn here so this one was recommended two skeins to use this is the second skein the problem with this uh, one it was that one skein so it was the color it was very variegated i would say but the second one this one it was almost the same you see not very many that's why when uh, stitching with this color i already decided to to do like this i stitched first uh, what do i say i stitched first these motifs you see because here it's evident and then I left for the others here, here, because here it's not so evident. So I had like to to think, not just to start stitching and just do it without thinking. I had to think how to do it so that it would look beautiful and uh, nice. And it was one more color, Marianne, which surprisingly I didn't have because uh, I ordered the um, Aromis Creations uh, threads from uh, the shop. Um, traditional stitches and the thing is that they don't have in, in stock we have to order it from Romis from Italy and it, it takes time usually it takes like three weeks four weeks and uh, I ordered threads not just for this doll like for more dolls and I ordered this uh, color Mary Ann but they just probably forgot skipped it I don't know because I was sure it came I put them all together and I was sure that it came because I knew I ordered it but unfortunately, it didn't come. And the thing is that people didn't include it. The shop didn't include it in my bill, so I didn't pay for it. It's just I didn't have And The problem is that when I just took everything and wanted to stitch it, I realized I don't have a, a color of a, a, like I don't have a, 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 a skein. And this was a problem not because of the price, but because of the waiting and because I had to wait one more month for it to come, but I wanted to stitch it like in that moment and uh, which was my decision you'll just laugh about this one i just remembered that you know like romis creations has an etsy shop i remembered that uh, she has this shop i just went to this shop to look for the threads unfortunately she doesn't have because she has very little threads here but if you look here on this picture uh, you see how resourceful are we the cross stitchers so here we have this one, Marianne, and I just look carefully at the shade. And it was from an indigo to dark, something like this, to even uh, black, I would say. But when I looked on the DMC shade card, I just found 
820, which was more or less. Okay, and why did I make this decision? Because here, you can see that this color is used in such a way that you don't see very much its uh, um, variegation, you see? So it comes like a contour, something like this, and the backstitch here is also. So I realized that it won't be so, such a, I don't know, a big tragedy. I started to stitching like a part of the, uh, of her uh, uh, skirt. I, I saw that it's okay because you imagine that I started stitching, I saw it's okay, and I said, this is it, I'm going to do it like this. Uh, the interesting thing is that there are some uh, some charts uh, where Julia gives the uh, DMC shades. So she's writing that, yes, if you're going to stitch with DMC, it's not going to be the same result, blah, blah, blah. And here it would have been useful to have the DMC <laughs> colors, but I didn't. But Fortunately, I found a solution how to do it, and I am very glad. Um, I would say that this doll is one of my favorite. I have favorites, yes. I like, I love them all, but still I have favorites. Because probably of her, this nice doll, because of her um, beautiful uh, uh, bird on her shoulder. And if we speak about the accessories, so I made her a bag, I would say, such a bag see with this one so this one is the handle is from Kranik and uh, if you are going to look in the original chart you see kind of similar bag it was here too and also Julia is recommending here two beads very nice beads just a second I will, yes, with this. The Ruta Fuserola bead from Julia Ponti Antiki. You see, they are very beautiful, they are hand painted, but um, I decided that I don't, I don't want these ones. I decided that I'm going to go without them. Uh, what cha whatever changes I did, I chose the underskirt to be yellow, though in the original it's, uh, green because i thought i have enough uh, dolls to come with green on the skirt and this one was uh, going hand in hand with this part of the dress so i, I did it um what else quite simple uh, by the way here in the original one i know that uh, uh, this uh, trimming is also uh, hand dyed by uh, uh, Romy, Romina's, um, but I haven't seen anywhere something like this being sold. I could have tried doing it myself, but still I just buy the white color and do it by myself, but I thought it's too much. And I found this beautiful one green, which is a perfect match with the green color from the cross stitches. Uh, this one originally doesn't have a pin, so it doesn't come with a pin, but of course I have a matching pin. <laughs> this is from Just None, you know that I'm collecting pins from Just None. Also bird, on the bird, so I gave her this bird, and one of one more thing which I made here, it was my creation I would say, so I made to her such a hat. Yes, it's a hat like a doll hat, and I just put some yellow roses because she has yellow roses on her hair, you see like this and the green trimming which is on my dress as well so it should be something like this it comes like this um apart from this no more changes it comes as it comes i like this doll enormously i already said and uh, this is the fourth and in my next video you are going to see the fifth uh, doll which is already stitched uh, thank you for watching this video, subscribe to my channel, have, put a like if you liked it and see you in my next videos. Bye bye!